Hey Calvin, uh, I'm going to show you what I mean by this uh, worm bait ball here. Basically what it consists of is just threading the worms up the line as you see here. Um, what I'm going to use here is a 7 odd barbless octopus uh, gamogatsu hook. This is the one I use all the time for uh, sturgeon fishing. Um, uh, trust me, this is a lot easier when you get real worms than it is on these plastic worms. But I'm just going to give you a try anyway here. Um, what you want to do is you're going to start at the top of the head of the worm, right? So what you want to do is you want to insert the worm on the hook and keep putting it up, okay? And keep going and keep going, as you can see here, and pushing it up. Like I said, it's a lot easier uh, using real worms. Um, so when you get about halfway through the body of the worm, you want to start your, uh, you want to put it through the, through the middle of the body, right? So you're holding on here. The hardest part of this procedure is getting the worm through the eyelid here. Um, getting over the knot and everything, and that's the tricky part. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice, and that's that's all about it. Um, so, as you see here, what you want to do, the secret to this is to twist the worm as you're putting over the eyelid. So you want to twist the body, twist the body, see how it's coming through? Twist the body, twist the body of the worm, and you want to keep doing this until you get the full worm right through. Okay? And that's basically... Uh, threading it, putting it onto the fishing line. Like I said, it is a lot easier with real worms. So, as you can see, we've threaded it, so it's on the worms. And the real worms are going to look just like this, all right? So basically, what I use all the time is about eight worms uh, per, uh, per bait up. So it's going to look like this for now. So then what you want to do is you want to take the last worm and you put it right through again. And this is going to be a worm that's going to cover the hook. And it's going to be the base of your, uh, your bait ball here, right? So you just bait it up just like a real worm. See, just like this. No problem, okay? So here comes the tricky part. So all you do here, like I said, it's going to be easier on the real worms, is now you just push down. So you get all those worms that you thread it up. You push them down. You push them down. And... you'll see here when I'm done here like this you push them down nice and tight so they're tight so basically what you get is a big presentation of worms like this and uh, all you do after this Calvin is you I call it bait management so when you're out there and nothing is biting um, which is doubtful with worms trust me I mean I swear by this bait all the time um, so basically all you do is you grab this worm, you push all the worms up again. See how that line is? See how that line is? So the, all your worms are still up there. And then you just put this worm, you thread it through again, and you put two or three new ones on just to keep the bait scent. And you haul it down again like this, cinch it, and this is what you get. So all the tentacles, all the, all the worms look like a little, almost like a squid kind of thing. So by the time you're finished, I mean, it's just all it is is just uh, keeping the bait nice and fresh and having the meat on there. So uh, even after catching a couple sturgeon on the same bait, you'll find out that the worms actually slide up. So when you hook onto a sturgeon, it'll, it'll slide up and you'll still have parts of your bait. So it kind of keeps the worms on bait and that's all it, all it is. Um, so uh, if you need anything else or whatever, just uh, give me a shout. And uh, I'll try to explain a little bit better for you. All right? Thanks, Calvin.